Seborrheic dermatitis encompasses a wide spectrum of symptoms, from dandruff, that is the mildest form of the disease, up to erythroderma. Seborrheic dermatitis is characterized by a significant overgrowth of malassezia. The pathogen produces lipases that hydrolyze sebaceous lipids into fatty acids and arachidonic acid. The fatty acids are necessary for malassezia growth. Furthermore, the arachidonic acid activates an inflammatory reaction and stimulates the production of pro-inflammatory mediators. Mild inflammation is not clinically visible, but it is manifested by dandruff that is yellowish in color because of the sebum component. Seborrheic dermatitis flares may be induced by smoking, stress, alcohol consumption, and diet. A good dermatological diagnostic tool is trichoscopy. Trichoscopy usually shows yellowish interfollicular scaling and thin arborizing vessels that are more prominent than in healthy individuals. The dandelion sign was recently described. It is occasionally present in patients with seborrheic dermatitis. Treatment depends on disease severity. In mild forms, such as dandruff, it is based on shampoos or other topical medications that influence the microbiome. Anti-inflammatory treatment may be added during flare-ups. Keratolytic agents may be used in some clinical situations. For moderate to severe forms of seborrheic dermatitis, systemic therapy is usually recommended. This may include itraconazole, terbinafine, or low-dose isotretinoin. After successful treatment, it is important to continue with maintenance therapy to decrease the risk of relapses. For example, an antimicrobial shampoo may be used once per week. Thank you for watching this video.